15 Most Unique Exotic Reptiles in the World Exotic reptiles are a fascinating group of animals. <laughs> a collection of creatures so unlike one another that you can barely believe they're related. But it turns out they're more unique than you could ever imagine. From one of the most colorful and dominant reptiles in the world to a cartoonish crocodile. Gharial are one of the most critically endangered of that entire group. Here are the 15 most unique exotic reptiles in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Agama. The Agama lizard is one of the most dominant kinds of reptile you've ever heard of. In Africa, these little guys are the most common lizard anywhere on the continent. And the reason for that? Environmental damage. In their early days, the Agamas made their home in the forests of Africa. To escape the sun's rays, he buries himself by shimmying into the sand. But when those forests began to disappear, the Agama began adapting as it often does. Soon it was making its homes in the open spaces, from mountains to arid deserts, and with some even making a home in rural or urban areas. The Agama is, on average, around 15.7 inches in length and is particularly notable for its striking color, which changes depending on the animal's mood. So the Agama is basically nature's mood ring. Like with many animals, the Agama's dominance is settled through fights, which can also impact the animal's coloring. A dominant male is brightly colored, while a subordinate male has a more subdued hue, and the females are all green or brown. I think it's pretty obvious that the Agama is a unique and intriguing reptile, which may be why some keep them as pets. But for most of us, we'll probably never see these rainbow lizards, unless you live in the African mountains, of course. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Sometimes, even in the world of exotic reptiles, some animals seem just too strange to be real. Like for instance, this tiny, yellow dragon type creature that is tiny compared to an adult human's hand. We have absolutely no idea what kind of reptile this is, or even if the thing is real. As far as we can tell, even scientists are confounded by the photo and have claimed that it's manipulated. But what do you think? Is this a clever bit of photo editing? Or are we looking at an all new unique reptile that even the experts have never seen? You tell me. As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Gharial. If you're even vaguely familiar with cartoons, you'll be aware that there is a certain look associated with crocodiles. Artists, for whatever reason, paint them with curved lines and a smile. Apparently, that's not a stylistic choice. They were painting the gharial. The gharial, or fish-eating crocodile, is a large reptile found in India. At one time, they could be found just about all over the wild, though that's not the case anymore. They are a truly a giant crocodile. Males will grow up to about 20 feet in length. Thanks to environmental changes, increased fishing, hunting, and a host of other problems, the gharial has been classified as a critically endangered species. And it doesn't get much rarer than that. Unlike most crocodiles, the gharial rarely leaves the water, only to build nests or enjoy the sunlight. Thus, many Hindus believe that the river deity Ganga used a gharial as her vehicle and believed that the animal contains mystical or healing powers. I'll let someone else prove that, thanks. The gharial is one of the more cartoonish and nightmarish creatures for sure, but it's also one of the rarest. Only 2% of its historical range exists today, which shows how simple environmental effects can decimate an entire species. Still, apparently, it has healing powers, so that's something, right? Number 13. Spiny Bush Viper 
When people say they don't like snakes, an animal like this is usually the reason why. The spiny bush viper is an animal that you or I are highly unlikely to find in the wild. But we should probably be glad about that because they're incredibly venomous. The spiny bush viper can only be found in Africa, usually in the Congo, Uganda, or Kenya. These are a small snake, measuring up to 18 to 23 and a half inches long. And as you can see, it sits perfectly still. It isn't defending itself too much. But they make up for that with their climbing ability. Make no mistake, you wouldn't be able to escape this animal. Because they prefer to live in the rainforest, these snakes are rarely found by humans, who generally live in settlements some distance away. All of this means one thing. Nobody has any idea how many of them there are in the world, which should bring some comfort to those of you that are terrified of snakes. For such a small snake, the spiny bush viper is one of the most fascinating. Even though it is rarely encountered by humans, its ability to pursue and capture prey, despite its small size, is impressive. Although, again, they are venomous, so if you do see one, just run. I mean, climbing won't save you, right? Number 12. Pygmy Chameleon It's almost always the case that if an animal has the word pygmy in its name, it's going to be downright adorable. And if you love reptiles, you're not going to be disappointed by this little guy. If you are disappointed, no refunds. The Ramfolian, or Pygmy Chameleon, is the world's most endangered chameleon. In the wilderness of East Africa, its home has been gradually whittled down to a tiny area, leaving scientists unaware of whether these animals even exist anymore. The Pygmy Chameleon doesn't really have a natural habitat, so to speak. Usually is a lot better. They'll shoot their tongue out again and grab the item and pull it back in. These animals have been found in forests, woodlands, savanna, highlands, pretty much anywhere that you can find a tree. They could be. Hey, that, that rhymes. Of course, this variable habitat obviously makes it almost impossible to try and locate any potential surviving species. For all we know, these tiny, tiny creatures are long gone. The pygmy chameleon is, as expected, adorable, but it's also fascinating to discover that nobody even knows if it exists anymore. An animal as unique and tiny as this one is surprisingly hard to find out in the wilderness of East Africa. I will continue to hold out hope that our tiny reptile friends will be found safe and sound. Number 11. Toke Gecko You've probably never asked this question, but I'll answer it. Yes, some reptiles look like they should be on the Disney Channel, although I just know some people will disagree. Here is an example of one of these Disney reptiles in all its glory. I present to you the Toke Gecko. The Toke Gecko is a greenish-gray lizard with gray and orange-brown spots all over its body, which give it a charming kind of polka dot quality. Because there are two dramatically different types of Toke Geckos that you might get. These small animals measure on average between 10 and 12 inches long, though some have been known to stretch to about 14. But what's most interesting about these animals is that while they're native to particular areas of Asia, they have been found elsewhere. The Tokay gecko has been introduced to Florida, Martinique, Belize, and maybe even Hawaii, making this a pretty far-flown gecko. Of course, all of those places have one thing in common, heat and vegetation. Geckos just love their trees. These geckos have been known to adapt not just to wilderness conditions, but rural ones too. They have been found roaming the walls and ceilings of a human home in search of insects. Imagine waking up to see that on your ceiling. I'd be convinced somebody spiked my drink. Number 10. Thorny Devil Yes, the Thorny Devil is most definitely the most charming name for a reptile I have ever heard. But they're by no means charming or innocent animals on their own. In fact, they can prove to be quite painful if they want to be. The thorny devil is obviously incredibly thorny. And they're very special and very hard to keep in captivity because these guys actually are very... What a shock, right? 
Their heads and bodies are entirely covered with densely packed spikes, which are apparently designed to make it challenging to eat the creature itself. But like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone, it's not enough to have one defense mechanism. You have to have multiple. The thorny devil is capable of inflating its chest with air, making it bigger and more difficult to swallow for dangerous predators. That's a pretty cool idea, actually. The thorny devil isn't a particularly scary creature in its own right, unless you're an ant. These reptiles will only eat tiny little ants, though they can consume thousands upon thousands every day and not think anything of it. Well, I've always heard that ants were low in calories, so maybe it's a fad diet of some kind. Number 9. Madagascar Big-Headed Turtle Everybody loves turtles, right? They're big, cute things that just want to take their time and enjoy themselves. They're the fun grandpas of the animal world. They're also among the oldest living reptiles anywhere in the world at around 250 million years old. That's very grandpa. Turtles, of course, have barely evolved over those hundreds of millions of years. And the Madagascan big-headed turtle is pretty much the same as it has always been, except for the fact that they're now known as the world's most endangered animal. Despite the threat of extinction, this turtle is regularly shipped around the world, whether for food or traditional medicine. As a result, they're incredibly hard to find in their natural habitat, which is a shame for anyone that is somewhat interested in turtles, and even those that aren't. It's kind of a bummer. Let the turtle live, humans! We're all guilty of being big-headed now and then, but the Madagascan big-headed turtle gets away with it because it's so darn cute. Now, that's a relatable way to end this topic, isn't it? Number 8. Blind Snake History has shown us time and time again that being blind is no hindrance to doing great things, which is undoubtedly great news for the blind snake, a tiny burrowing snake often mistaken for an earthworm. Although it feels a bit hypocritical to call a snake blind when you can't tell it's a worm, there are actually 46 species of blind snake found in Australia, all of which are pretty much the same kind of creature. That is a Brahma, Brahmini blind snake. It's a really fast movie. These are tiny worm-like snakes that travel through the soil and use their tongue to locate ants and termites. When they find their dinner, they burrow into the nest and go to town. The blind snake is harmless to any animal bigger than an ant, since it has no venom, few defense capabilities, and no bite. But they're most definitely fascinating animals to look at. While the blind snake feasts on its fair share of prey, it's an animal that tends to be the victim more than the aggressor. Just about every animal from the owl to the fox and even snakes are willing to eat the blind snake. Whether you think that's the circle of life or a hate crime, well, that's on you. Number 7. Snake-necked turtle I bet you cannot tell me why this animal is called the snake-necked turtle. I am confident that under no conditions could you ever in a million years guess what- Oh, I- you got it. So, alright, alright. Well, um, good job. I didn't put any money on it, so... The snake-necked turtle is genuinely one of the most unique animals you could hope to find anywhere on the planet. Like many of nature's hybrids, this is essentially two animals mixed to create a whole new one. It's got a long neck picture, so it And man, it is fascinating. The average eastern snake-necked turtle will live to be 50 years old and grow a shell of around 25 centimeters. But we have something even stranger for you. This is one of the stinkiest animals you could ever find. Whenever this animal feels stressed, it releases what can only be described as a pungent spray. This spray can reach over 3 feet away, and I don't think I have to say that it is far from sexy. The snake-necked turtle is one of the stranger creations of Mother Nature, combining the gentility of a turtle with the fast neck of a snake and the whiff of a skunk. It's original, you can't deny that. Number 6. Leaf-Tailed Gecko Picture this, a gecko with a leaf for a tail. If it sounds too good to be true, well, it is. Sadly, that kind of animal exists only in Dr. Seuss's books. But we have the closest thing to it, at least, with this quirky named reptile. 
The leaf-tailed gecko is actually more of a flat-tailed gecko, although the tail does admittedly look reminiscent of a leaf. Now, this is a curious-looking animal. It's about, because her tail's kind of curled up, so I'm sticking this finger out a little bit more than what it looks. And the principal reason for that is all in the eyes. This gecko has no eyelids. In fact, if it wants to remove dirt from its eyes, it must do so with its long, long tongue. That's a reptile between 4 and 12 inches in length that must lick its own eyes to protect them. And if that doesn't make you shiver, well, you're probably more normal than me. The leaf-tailed gecko is a unique little thing, but its habitat is sadly threatened. While there are more than 10 species of the animal in Madagascar and nearby islands, the illegal exotic pet trade and accelerated habitat loss in the world's jungles causes severe damage to the creature's population. And if that doesn't leave you wide-eyed like a leaf-tailed gecko, I don't know what will. Number 5. Chinese Water Dragon What's most fascinating about this reptile is the sheer number of names that it goes by. This magnificent-looking creature is also known as the Asian Water Dragon, the Thai Water Dragon, and the Green Water Dragon. So, basically, the only thing that is for sure is that it is a green dragon that likes water and lives in Asia. Both of them are one of her favorites, top five. Mm -hmm. Very true. The specific traits of these medium-sized lizards vary from specimen to specimen. Some are dark, some are light, some green, some purple, some have stripes. I mean, there's really no one-size-fits-all here. Pretty much everything about this animal, from its name to its appearance, is unique in every individual. The one consistent trait seems to be that they like water. These reptiles are usually found alongside the banks of freshwater lakes, rivers, and streams all across southern and southeastern Asia. However, they're rarely in the water, preferring to spend their time on land and in trees. But if threatened, the water is their go-to hiding place. And it's a pretty good hiding place if you can hold your breath. The Chinese water dragon is a beautiful animal and one that far too few know about. Of course, since each one is a unique animal unto itself, it's near impossible to identify one. But isn't that part of the fun? Number 4. Crested Gecko If you get freaked out by reptiles, you probably shouldn't be uh, watching this video. But if you're here still, uh, brace yourself. This is one of the freakier looking species we'll be looking at today. The Crested Gecko has a unique nickname to go along with its interesting appearance, the Eyelash Gecko. Can you guess why? The Crested Gecko is most recognizable by the ridges that run around the top it's quite a lot larger when it comes to the body size. So as you can see... ...of the animal's eye, giving the appearance of eyelashes. Of course, since reptiles have no eyelids whatsoever, eyelashes would be kind of pointless, but they look pretty and that's apparently all that matters. Like many eyelid-less animals, the crested gecko keeps dust out of their eye by licking them, which is gross. But what's most unique about these animals is that they're all unique. No two crested geckos look alike. They may have different colors, different patterns, but each one is entirely original. The crested gecko was once thought to be extinct, but was rediscovered in 1994 following a tropical storm. They're now believed to be native creatures to the island of New Caledonia, though an increase in electric ants is a major threat to their population. Can you believe that an ant could wipe out a gecko? Another little fact for you there. Number 3. Dragon Moray Eel It's hard to find a more striking eel than the Dragon Moray. These long, serpentine-type creatures have some of the most striking colors you could hope to see in the world's wild waters. Unfortunately, though, you're unlikely to see them. Dragon Morays are nocturnal by nature spending their days hiding in the crevices of rocks. When they do come out in the daytime, it's usually in an area with a lot of suitable hiding places. Given that they live in areas with many predators, they tend to be pretty fearful creatures most of the time. Um, especially when you first get them is when they're more restless or during feeding time. But However, they can and do bite if they feel threatened. And they have sharp, needle-like teeth. So it's not going to be one of those weird gummy bites that you often get from fish or the elderly. 
the dragon moray grows up to 80 centimeters, or 31 inches, which definitely makes it a sizable creature. But of course, most people know it for reasons other than its size. Its coloring, which can vary from white, yellow, orange, or dark brown, is often spotted with the other colors, making it a hard creature to miss. Assuming, of course, that it's not hiding. Number 2. Frilled Dragon there's a reoccurring pattern in the world of exotic reptiles. They're hard to find and even easier to miss. Well, we have an animal that is easy to spot, assuming that you know what you're looking for. Welcome to Jurassic pa Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Northern Australia. Frilled dragons are named after the twin frills found on either side of its head, which may be familiar to anyone that has ever seen Jurassic Park. Look at, <laughs> look how mad he gets. This is awesome. They're not very big animals. When the animal is feeling threatened, the frills come out, and things get pretty frightening. From nose to tail, these animals measure up to 33 inches, but the frill measures around a foot wide. Definitely not something you want to see while secretly transporting dinosaur specimens in the middle of a storm. Frilled dragons are most easily spotted in the trees, where they spend the vast majority of their lives. They press themselves up against the trunk of the tree, sticking their necks out at a 45 degree angle. If a predator wanders past, the dragon camouflages itself into the tree. Clever girl. It's easy to see just how intimidating the frilled dragon could be if you were unprepared. Thankfully, they're not venomous and not dangerous to humans. But if you're a bug or a small animal, you should probably watch your back. Number 1. Red-Eyed Crocodile Skink If there's one animal that feels tailor-made to be in some kind of animated feature film, it's this one. The Red-Eyed Crocodile Skink is a teeny tiny lizard with big ol' eyes. Depending on how you feel about lizards, this is either adorable or pure nightmare fuel. Red-eyed crocodile skinks, despite the name, I don't really think they look that much. These skinks are native to Papua New Guinea and tend to make a home in the region's tropical rainforest. They're somewhere between 8 and 10 centimeters long, incredibly shy, and are mostly active at dawn or dusk hours. So overall, a difficult animal to find in the wild. However, they're incredibly popular pets within the exotic reptile community, probably because they seem like perfect Instagram material. And if you're wondering where they get the crocodile part of their name, they have some unique dorsal scales that taper to a point, very much like the scales of a croc. As pets, the skinks aren't all that interesting. While they rarely bite, they don't like to be handled or held often crying out or playing dead in a bid to escape. However, if you have an empty terrarium that you want filling, not a bad choice. Have you ever seen or owned one of these exotic reptiles? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.